Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have for you a review video. This is going to be my warm review for Tiffany Candles. I have been melting her stuff. Gosh, it's probably been about three weeks now. And um, I just didn't really have a good opportunity to kind of stop melting her stuff and switch over to a new vendor because it does take time. When I'm doing, when I'm focusing on one vendor, I actually pull out all the wax that I have for that particular vendor and have it out on a table that I use that I can easily pick different things I want. I do like doing that because then I'm grabbing for stuff that may be buried under a bunch of other wax and it gives me an opportunity to go back and try things that I was super excited to buy originally and all of that stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I just have this in front of you here so you have something to look at while I started talking. But I am going to start with empties. So I'll go ahead and start with this one. Then the first empty is uh, my 12 ounce jar scoopable of rosemary mint. This was from December 16th, 2013, I believe. And I love her rosemary mint. It's such a great scent. Um, and this scoopable, it smells amazing, and her scoopables really last. So it's actually awesome that if you get those, you want to get a large one. I've had no problem with them lasting for quite a while. And I mean like shelf life lasting. Plus, I think they throw really well um, for um, her wax. So anyhow, so I, I finished that one. It wasn't a lot left in it, I don't think anyways. But then the next thing I want to show you is actually... Something I threw together, well I didn't really blend it all in one warmer, I filled up a bunch of different warmers with these different scents and then they, that particular day it was a really nice kind of breezy cool day so I had all my windows open and all the fragrances kind of just mixed together and it smelled amazing in here. And um, so I actually convinced Tiffany to do a blend of all of these because then I went on her website to see if I could do if she had the scents all available to do a custom order, to do like one of her triple layer, triple layer lobes, but one of the scent, one or two of the scents weren't available for custom orders, and then also it wouldn't, I wouldn't have had enough options. You can only blend up to three scents, and so I wouldn't have been able to blend all of these together. So this is gonna seem like a crazy mess. So she did make it for me. I did order it in her opening that she's had a couple days ago. I got two bags of it in her mini hearts. So I'm super excited to get it. And I hope, I hope it's as good as the day I threw all these in. So what I did is I had in one warmer, I put bubblegum pink frosted cupcakes because I realized I actually do really like bubblegum with some bakery. And I feel like the pink frosted cupcakes does, I think it has pink sugar in it. Let me double check really quickie, quickie, quickly. Um, pink frosted. Yeah, it's pink sugar and buttercream cupcakes. So mixed with the bubble gum, I put that in one warmer. And then in another warmer, I had Windswept Shores and Pink Sands, which, which everyone knows I think pretty much what Pink Sands is. It's a Yankee dupe. Uh, Windswept Shores, however, is, it says this ocean type fragrance captures the essence of a day at the seashore. A dry musky base with notes of balsams and sandalwood supports notes of bergamot, grapefruit, and ozonic uh, top notes lending to the perception of clean salty air so that was in one warmer and then Fruitopia I had one um, scallop left in Fruitopia and I threw that in another warmer and Fruitopia is um, strawberry passion with mango papaya and her strawberry passion is strawberry French vanilla and cotton candy I think so Obviously, there was a lot going on, but it just created one of those really yummy, fruity, kind of fresh, like, complex scents. I really, really loved it. So I'm really hoping <laughs> that I love it in the bag that she blended for me. And I know that there was at least four of those bags because when I ordered them, um, I was a little late to her opening, but it showed there was four available. I purchased two. So if you happen to buy one of the other bags. I hope you like it and um, hopefully you don't hate it. And if you do, I'm sorry. Um, but anyhow, I really love that. One of the things I think generally to start out with, um, Tiffany's wax, I have no problem with shelf life of her wax. Um, some of the stuff you're gonna see is gonna be pretty old. Some of it I don't even have dates on, it's that old. So that means it was pretty much purchased probably in late 2013 or very early 2014 before I started putting dates on everything. 
and um, I've had no problem with her stuff lasting. I do feel like maybe for her older, um, like the older three packs, this one's not old, but the older three packs, I feel like maybe the scents don't last quite as long of her fluted tarts. Um, it could just be the scents though, but I do find stuff like from her chunklets and her loaves and her scoopables um, all have really, really good shelf life. So, um, which is great because that's what I need from a vendor because I have too much wax. So I actually melted quite a few of samples. I don't know if you guys remember me showing you that big bowl of samples I had. So these are all ones I got through and the bowl still looks like it's three quarters full. But I melted fluffy marshmallow. I'm pretty sure I mixed that with something. I don't remember what, but her fluffy marshmallow is really good. It's a strong marshmallow scent, nice, sweet, and creamy. I love it. I melted creme brulee. Um, not one of my favorite scents. It's kind of took on like a very heavy, creamy, caramely kind of bakery scent. So it wasn't bad, but it's probably not something I would seek out, maybe unless it was in a blend or something. Um, caramelized pralines. This was actually really good. Um, I, I tend to hesitate sometimes with scents like this just because I don't know if they're going to be too caramely, but I actually did like this one. This was um, a pretty good bakery type um, scent. And also we, although today is actually a really nice day here in Southern California, earlier this week and last weekend we had tons of rain and it was really cold. So I was melting a lot of like bakery kind of comfort scents. Peppermint bark. This is one, let's see. Okay, not too old. This is one surprised me. Um, peppermint bark is going to be peppermint and chocolate basically, right? There may be other notes to it, but for the most part, that's what it is. And I threw it in just because I was like, well, let me try it. I love peppermint scents, but I tend to not like chocolate. I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, it was just a good balance of that chocolate and peppermint note and the chocolate and it didn't didn't smell t didn't smell real artificial to me so I actually just ordered um, when I ordered that bag of my crazy scent blend I also ordered a three pack of peppermint bark um, lemongrass so this is actually one from her fresh sampler that she did I think uh, back last summer I think or maybe was this a sample let's see yeah it must have been the fresh sampler I did um, or sorry fresh sampler it's fresh sampler she did last summer. So this was lemongrass. This was um, kind of pretty typical for your lemongrass scents. Kind of has that like very citrusy, um, limey type scent. So it was pretty good. On its own, um, I'd probably prefer this in like in a blend or something, but I liked it. Sea petals. Okay, so when you get into clean scents, I don't remember a lot about them. So like sea petals, coriander, white lime. Let's see. Oh, there's another lemongrass that I melted, so I'll put that over there. Um, well, actually, these two. I think I do remember liking the coriander white lime because it had more of like a citrusy lime note to it. The sea petals was more of like a florally clean scent. I'm not a huge clean scent type person or floral type person when I melt wax, so I tend to not really remember a lot about them of either I liked them or I didn't. I did like the coriander white lime. I don't think I like the sea petals that much, that just goes back to me not being a huge fan of kind of clean, fresh scents. Mango Beechwood. So this one people raved about, and so that's why I actually I was hesitant to buy it in a larger format, and that's it. But this is actually what spurred me to buy the clean sampler that she did last summer because I really wanted to try this one. Um, it's too clean for me. I was I felt like it was going to be kind of a nice mix of like a sweet mango with. Um, kind of an earthy like fresh water salt water beechwood type scent and it was just more clean type scent to me so I didn't like it um it wasn't horrible but I know a lot of people love the scent but it just wasn't one for me and that just goes back to kind of my scent preferences um the other one I want to talk about chamomile this is another one that I've had chamomile in blends from other vendors and I really like it on its own, however, um, I did not like this. It came off very chemically smelling, and so I did not like this one. I ended up, I think, dumping it out after a little while. But again, that goes back to just scent preference. Raspberry Rainbow, this was just a really sweet kind of berry, like tart berry, fruity type scent. Um, so it was really good if you like this type of scent. I, I'm finding right now I like stuff that's a little bit more complex than just a basic like fruity scent. Um, so I liked it, but it's probably not one I would like seek out, you know. 
Eucalyptus Spearmint, I really, really like this scent. She has a really good Eucalyptus Spearmint. Um, this is probably one I'm going to have to try and buy just down the road from her. I should have thought about it when I was buying my other stuff. But I really like this. It was just a great blend of the eucalyptus with the spearmint. And that's actually how I prefer spearmint, I think, for the most part, is blended with eucalyptus. Gingerbread House. Um, I melted this. Gosh, I put it in my bedroom. This was just a really great um, bakery scent with kind of a little bit of a spicy undertone, but not too spicy. Um, it threw really well, but it was like... It wasn't too crazy throw, and I think it was a little gingerbread man shape. And actually, this one's pretty old, December of 2014, and it actually performed really well. So I actually like that scent. So maybe around fall time, that may be one I try to seek out. Lemon cheesecake. Um, I do like cheesecake scents, especially lemon mixed with cheesecake. This one then, however, it kind of varies from vendor to vendor. This one came off as more of a tart, kind of a little hint of that sour milk note in it. Um, I still like it, but I did pick up a little bit of that sour milk note. Um, it's from December 14, but I still like it. So I think it just depends on like the vendor and the cheesecake um, blend that they have or whatever fragrance oil that they have and what it's blended with. And sometimes I feel like my nose may pick up on those notes sometimes and not other times. I don't know. But overall, it performed well. Um, and it's probably one that I would buy occasionally from her. So this is breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, this is really old, January of 2014. So this is over two years old. And I'm trying to remember where I melted this one because I don't, I think I got more of like a maple syrup type scent from it. And I don't think I was like super, super crazy about it, but I also feel like it was pretty old. So I don't know if the blend was true to like what it was meant to be. But I also tend to not like too heavy of like syrupy sweet type scents so this is one I may want to try again down the road and just see how I like it black and blue I think this is supposed to be like blackberry and blueberry or something so just a nice kind of like fruity scent um, and this was really good I did enjoy it I put it in my glade warmer in my bathroom which is a 20 watt and it performed really well nice and fruity nice fruity like berry scent you know this is one I melted at work pink serendipity honeydew melon um, so pink sugar, serendipity, honeydew melon. And so this was nice and strong. I had to keep turning it off because at work, the fragrance does really travel a lot through the office. And I think it's just because you're basically in a completely enclosed environment with recycled air. You don't have like fresh, you know, windows that you can open and stuff. But this was really good. I do like that blend of kind of the pink sugar, the serendipity, and the honeydew melon. And down the road, this is something maybe I'm going to want to seek out again. And so that's all the samples. So now three packs. I do have quite a few three packs that I finished. Um, so Ultimate Donut. Let me actually find the scent description for this one really quickly. One second. So Ultimate Donut. I know. So it's Snickerdoodle and Donut Shop. Um, and I think Donut Shop, I don't know that she gives the exact notes, but um, this is a really good one. So I think I might have melted it on its own. Or did I blend it? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember now. But I do like all her donut shop blends. And this one's really good because with that snickerdoodle, you kind of get that extra kind of sweet cookie bakery type scent. But her donut shop does have a spicy note to it. To me, it's not too spicy. But I do know for some people, if they don't like spicy at all, then you probably wouldn't like it. But I really love it. Um, I think I have a candle in this scent as well which I haven't melted her candles recently, but um, so I really like that scent from her. It's definitely one I would repurchase. Uh, Pink Paradise I melted. Okay, so let me find the scent description for this one. It's Pink Sugar and her Paradise Blend, which her Paradise Blend is Strawberry Passion with Creamy Vanilla. And then if you remember, I said earlier, her Strawberry Passion is Strawberry Cotton Candy French Vanilla. So this is a really, really great scent. Um, I love kind of yummy strawberry blends. This is one, I think it's been a repurchase for me and it's definitely one that I would repurchase again. Um, or actually I hate when people say repurchase again. It's definitely one I would continue to repurchase. <laughs> so, um, I love the scent. It threw well. It's just like a nice, sweet, creamy, complex strawberry. And then you throw in a little bit of that pink sugar and I just, I love it. And I finished a three pack in blueberry cheesecake. 
This one I think is pretty old. You can tell the like wrapper is kind of a little bit discolored. And I don't know why, like I loved blueberry when I first got into wax and I still love blueberry scents, but I just tend not to reach for them and I don't know why, but I melted this one. I actually really, really liked it. And I think I might've actually melted this blueberry with her ultimate donut. I don't remember. Um, but it was really good. You know, it's just that nice, sweet kind of deep blueberry scent mixed with like a creamy, yummy cheesecake. So I like it. It's definitely one I would buy again. And one of my absolute favorite scents from Tiffany is her pink peppermint. I love it, love it, love it. So I did finish a three pack. I think I'm out of my three packs from her, but I do have a 12 ounce scoopable from her still in this scent. So it's just one of my favorites. I finished a three pack in tea and cakes and I think I have a little bit left or did I already finish? I think I have one whole three pack left and then part of another one that I got from somebody um, from a friend of mine. And I like this scent. It To me, it comes off as kind of like a fresh lemon mixed with like a Lipton tea, iced tea powder mix that you can get with a little bit of a cakey note undertone. So I like it. It's like I have a love-hate relationship with the scent. I don't even know how to explain it because I like it, but then sometimes I'll get in, like sometimes I don't. Like I have to be in the mood for it. But when I'm in the mood for it, I actually do really like it because it's an interesting, it's an interesting like blend of notes for me. Um, so I enjoy it enough to continue melting it. I don't know if I will like buy a lot of it down the road. I may grab more here and there just if I'm feeling like I'm in the mood for it. But it's just, to me, it's an interesting blend and I did enjoy it. Um, when there was some cold weather, I did melt this pumpkin spice zucchini bread. This was a super spicy scent. I really, really liked it. It threw really well, but it definitely was like a spicy kind of fall bakery type scent. Um, so, uh, you know, we're in what, like middle April right now. Fall is going to be right around the corner. Vendors are going to start introducing their fall scents and fall lines probably by like, I would say like July, maybe August, we're going to start seeing that. So it's not that far away. If you like nice, spicy, kind of fall bakery, pumpkin, zucchini bread type scents, this is actually a really, really good scent, but it does have a lot of spice to it. But it is one that I think in the fall I would probably try and pick up again. And this is, I was just lucky enough to melt this because we did have some cold weather here. And for me, it's more about the weather that makes me want to melt certain scents. So those are the, oh no, those aren't all the empties. I have some bags. So one of the bags I finished was chunklets in homespun treasures when serendipity overpour. For me, I mostly got the serendipity from this one. I'm going to look up what homespun treasures is really quickly. Hopefully she has it on her scent list. Oh, she does not. She must not have kept the scent. I pretty much was getting serendipity with maybe a note of something else, but I don't know what homespun, homespun treasures was. Um, you can tell this is from May of 2014, so this is quite old, um, pretty much almost two years old, but it's performed really well, and I really like serendipity scents. I really like them when they're blended with something else, and I think Tiffany has a really good serendipity. I think hers is more heavy on the coconut versus the cherry, which I love coconut scents, like sweet coconut scents. So this one did really well. It performed well, and it was a good blend. One of my favorite scents that I'm actually sad to be out of is Cranberry Pumpkin. This is a... Bath and Body Works dupe. I don't think she intended for it to be Bath and Body Works dupe, um, but Bath and Body Works did come out with a cranberry pumpkin last fall. I I don't know. I'm not like I love Bath and Body Works, but I don't keep up on when scents are new or not. It was a new scent to me last fall. I don't know if it was completely new to Bath and Body Works. I think it was, but it may not have been. But anyhow, to me, this smells just like the Bath and Body Works one. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. And this is one that it's cranberry and pumpkin. But to me, it's not like it's, it. that's not what it smells like. It smells like, kind of like a tart cranberry with like a sweet bakery note to it. Like you don't get any pumpkin and you really don't get any pumpkin spice. So I don't think it's true to its name, but it is an amazing scent. And I also have this scent from another vendor and then I have two candles from Bath and Body Works. And I love it, love it, love it. So this is one that I can melt like year round because it's not it's not spicy. It's not a heavy, heavy like fall bakery. Um, and even the cranberry in it, it's like the sweet tart cranberry. So I don't know what it is, but I just love the scent. And I was actually thinking like, because I'm out of it from her, 
that I would see if she has any oils to maybe make it again. So I love it and it performs really well. I finished a really old loaf. Let me move this up a little bit. This is rock candy, pink sugar, and watermelon taffy. Um, I'm sure this was from 2014 and the bag it originally came in is inside. So actually, which it probably has the date on it. Let me see. Yeah, February of 2014. So this is already two months past two years old. And this is freaking strong. So I can smell, see how like you get some of the residue left in the bag? So one of the things with like her loaves and her chunklets, when they sit around for a while and if it gets warm at all in your house, they tend to seep some of the like oil and the wax. It, this doesn't bother me at all. Um, it may bother some people. It's not super messy, but they just, they seep. I don't know why. Um, it must be something in her blend. But I pulled this out. It smells super strong. I can still smell all that scent. Um, particularly the rock candy and the watermelon. I felt like were the scents that were dominant in this. And I wasn't really getting much of the pink sugar. Um, and I think I'm not... I liked rock candy a little bit when it kind of first came out and got popular. But I think I'm just not a huge kind of candy scent type person. Um, so I finished it. And I enjoyed it. And it performed really well. But just rock candy in general and watermelon taffy. They're too sugary sweet candy like for me so they're probably just scents I won't get like really go for again um, but the performance was fantastic and the fact that this loaf is over two years old and still had a ton of ton of scent is just amazing and adds to the fact of why I continue to buy from Tiffany Candles and then another loaf I finished which look there you go the date is January 2014 um, this was raspberry lemonade melon ball fizz with pink marshmallow over pour. This one was really good. So this, I love raspberry lemonade scents. I love that like fresh kind of like fruity um, tart lemonade scent. Melon ball fizz is a great scent from her. Let me, let me pull up the scent description for melon ball fizz. It's a fruity blend that starts on a base of cantaloupe melon mixed with bits of fresh pineapple, ripe mango, papaya, um, passion fruit banana and a splash of berry so it's just a really great like fruity um, scent and then with the pink sugar marshmallow overpour kind of just something to pull those two scents together so I like this blend it's actually probably something I would try to get again down the road um, so it's just really good great like spring and summer kind of fruity type scent you know and no, her stuff throws amazing I mean the shelf life on her stuff is just crazy so that is all the empties now from Tiffany Candles. This is going to be a long video. So now I'm going to try and quickly go through just some of the other stuff I melted and talk to you a little bit about it overall of performance. And some of the stuff I've, I've been melting is her, um, I get, I don't get the jars, her heart jars that you can get. You can get either the heart jars and then I think around the fall she offers like the gingerbread jars. I just get the bags of the refills because... I don't want the jar and that's going to make it harder for me to store and so um, I feel like this is like the best way to go. You get 12 of these little hearts. What's great is the hearts are small enough that if you have a large enough warmer you can throw two of them together to blend or you can cut them in half and blend them together. I love her cheesecake scent. Her cheesecake scent does have a spicy note to it and I feel like I don't know if she's changed her cheesecake blend but I feel like I prefer blending her cheesecake on my own like getting this and then blending it with other stuff versus buying her stuff already blended like her cheesecake blends because this cheesecake I don't get as much of the cream cheese kind of milky note to it that I do when I'm buying something like her lemon cheesecake or her blueberry cheesecake and I don't know if maybe those cheesecake blends that are already pre-blended are maybe individual like fragrance oils she's buying and so maybe it's a different cheesecake note I don't know but I really like her um, regular cheesecake and then like melting it with strawberry yummy and then as you guys know if you've watched me for a while you know she has my favorite strawberry this is the same strawberry as candles from the keeping room fresh pick strawberries so if you have a hard time getting your hands on um, the candles from the keeping room strawberry and you want to try it this is the exact same one just order strawberry it's her straight up strawberry um, from Tiffany candles it's awesome I love it I love to blend it with everything and you're gonna see with some of my other bags that I'm gonna show you I have a lot of blends with strawberry in it and then pink sugar I just love having pink sugar on hand to blend with stuff um, if I want to take something that's really fruity and kind of tone it down 
or take something and make it more of a comforting scent. I love pink sugar and it's something I've loved since I've gotten into wax and I will never get sick of it. All right, so let me go ahead and go into um, some other stuff now that I've melted. I'm gonna braise this up a little bit more again. Okay, so this first one you can see, strawberry, um, birthday bash, and cotton candy frosting. And so when I found out she carried the same strawberry as candles from the keeping room, I went crazy ordering a bunch of her blended bags with strawberry in it. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have a bunch of it. So um, let me tell you what's in birthday bash really quickly. Let's see, birthday bash, birthday bash. I have my iPad over here with her scent list up. Okay, so it's a blend of Fruit Loops, Fluffy Marshmallow, and Birthday Cake. So essentially you have the Fruit Loops, Marshmallow, Birthday Cake, Strawberry, Cotton Candy Frosting. So this is just a really good, like, sweet, fruity, tart, yummy, delicious blend. I really, really like this one. I love her blended bags because you get a ton of wax in these. I think they're supposed to be a pound, but I, you know, I don't know that I weighed them when I first got them, but I feel like they go a long way. You get these little bunt shapes in there, which are probably about, I would say, 0.8 to 0.9 ounces each. And actually, like in a place like my bedroom, I can get away with melting just one. Um, in a larger room, I would maybe put one and two different warmers. But um, so this, her blended bags go really far. And this is just a yummy, delicious scent that I really, really liked. another blend of bag strawberry mango papaya which I love and you can see I probably melt a little bit more of this one um, but this is just like a great fruity like if you want to just straight up yummy delicious fruity this is like a scent that you would enjoy I love strawberry mango papaya together particularly her strawberry um, this I tried this blend from another vendor before and I loved it so I thought oh my god it'd be perfect with Tiffany's strawberry um, just amazing fruity scent. This is great for spring and summer. Definitely get it if you love yummy fruity strawberry blends. Uh, let's see. Okay, another strawberry one, which you can see I've used a good amount of because this one's even lower. Um, strawberry pink sugar buttercream cupcakes. So this, well, actually, let me show you two. So I have on the right strawberry and pink sugar, which I love, 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 love. Um, and I just can't get enough of this scent. But this strawberry pink sugar buttercream cupcakes, what I love about it is the buttercream cupcakes just adds a creamier kind of that um, cake type note to it. So it just brings a little bit more of a comfort scent to it. Um, but strawberry and pink sugar is fantastic. So again, you can tell I love her strawberry. If you love strawberry, you should get it. So. Oops, I'm dropping bags on the floor over there too. So I think that's it for my strawberry blends from her that I've melted through. Um, one of the loaves I have, which I'm probably going to end up giving a lot of this to some family members. This is a loaf. If you watched, I think in my video when I first picked Tiffany Candles to do the kind of in-depth review and melting, whatever. Um, I said that I got this one on sale, pomegranate and laundry with strawberry overpour. And it's, I like it, but I'm just... I don't care for laundry scents because they smell like detergent, but I thought I got it. She had it marked down on her website, plus she was running a sale, so I got it super, super cheap for a loaf. And it's okay, but I think it's probably definitely one of those that's going to sit around for a long time because I'm just not going to grab for it. So what I think I'm going to do is probably give this to family that um, I think would really love it. So it's a good blend if you like laundry scents. Mixing like fruity with laundry is actually really good. Uh, it's just, I know me and I'm just, with all the wax I have, I'm probably just not gonna grab for this one. So this is one I will pass on to someone that I think will enjoy it. One that I have melted a lot of, because you can see this bag is down to about here, is Lavender Vanilla Bee Noel Cotton Candy Frosting. I really love her lavender to me. I think this is actually Lavender Vanilla. Maybe, or is it just, yeah, I think it's lavender vanilla. And I think now she actually carries just a straight up lavender. But um, this one is, well, does she? Let me see her scent list really quickly. Now I'm forgetting. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. So she has lavender and then lavender milk and lavender vanilla. I think when I ordered this one, I don't think she had plain lavender. I think she had just lavender vanilla. But I felt like she would have put that on there. So I don't know. I don't remember now. 
I love it though, because it's like a nice herbal lavender and then mixing in that vanilla bean oil and cotton candy frosting just makes it sweet. So that's my preference for lavender, is taking herbal lavender and mixing in something sweet versus having the lavender start off as like a really sweet lavender scent on its own. Um, I think this actually, instead of the cotton candy frosting, I think next time I may do like lavender, vanilla bean oil and like a marshmallow scent. So it has more of a creamy so it has more of a uh, creamy scent anyhow so I do marshmallow in this but I still really like this scent you can see I've melted quite a bit of it I know there's a little bit of a glare but it, it's kind of a lot lower than some of the other bags so anyhow that's a great blend I love lavender and sweet scents mixed together um, one of the other blends I love for nighttime this was a loaf that I purchased I think this was like December 2014, so this is one that's getting old. You can tell I have quite a bit of um, wax left in here. I think I've only melted it maybe three times, but this is lavender milk with pink rosemary mint. Oh, this is such an amazing, like relaxing scent. I love the lavender with the pink sugar and the rosemary mint, so you get a little bit of a mintiness. Amazing, amazing blend, um, so I'm glad I had a nice big loaf in this, and this will last me quite a while. So. Um, great performance, very relaxing, and just great scent. Um, one of the scents that I also have melted that I really like, but I think I can't use this in the bedroom. This is lavender milk and clementine lavender. So the clementine lavender, to me, is just mostly clementine. It's kind of like a clean clementine scent, which is like a citrusy scent, right? Um, so I like this, but I think it's too, that clementine scent, having it in the wax for nighttime is like it's too strong or it's more of a wake you up type scent versus a go to sleep type scent so I love this scent but it's more of something I like to melt throughout my house versus in my bedroom at night so throughout my house during the day versus my bedroom at night um, another uh, this is actually an old loaf this is probably from late 2014 my guess um, this is Tinsel with Melon Mist Overpour. This is a great blend. This is something I think she came out around Christmas time, but for me, Tinsel is a scent that I can melt year round because I really, really like it. Um, this is an older loaf. It's in a small bag just because of the fact that it, um, I didn't have, like by the time I chopped up and put it in a bag, I'd already used a portion of the loaf. So this is good. This performs really well. That Tinsel with that extra melon note in here is just, it's really delicious. A great, great blend. And then the last of kind of my bags, and this isn't every single bag I have because I didn't necessarily melt from all the bags I have, uh, Rainbow Sherbet and Saltwater Taffy. So this is a good scent, but this goes back to that. It's like a really sweet kind of fruity scent. And this is something that I feel like I need something in there to cut through kind of that sweetness of this particular blend. I do like it, but um, I think Saltwater Taffy is just too sweet for me um, to melt on its own with maybe just another fruit scent. I feel like I need something else in there to kind of tone it down or cut through kind of that sweetness or something. So it's good and it performed well um, and it was really strong. It's just maybe too sweet for me. I don't know. So, but it was good. Um, okay, so then scoopables. Other scoopables that I melted. Let me grab them. So the first one here is Blue Sugar. This is in her little four ounce. Um, so this is a scent that is basically the male version of Pink Sugar. And it's Blue Sugar. So it has a little bit more of a masculine note to it. But it is still kind of, it's like creamy and sweet. It's actually really good. I melted it at night with Sweet Milk. Because I know I love, Sweet Milk is basically like a sugar milk, right? And I love Pink Sugar sugar milk so I thought well let me try the blue sugar one um this is though like I feel like blue sugar is not as strong as pink sugar um so it was a good blend but I feel like it was overall just a lighter scent it threw but it was just light and so this is her sweet milk I really like her um what is it sweet milk yeah sweet milk um to me this like some sugar milks have like a little bit of a tart note to them this is just straight up like it smells like milk with sugar mixed in it's so good so that it's not wanting to focus well yeah but anyhow so I use these two together I like them uh, I just think it's overall just a lighter scent that blue sugar is a lighter scent 
Another one I melted a little bit of, Pink Lime Tangerine. I think I only melted this once in the bathroom. It's actually really good. Nice kind of fruity citrus type scent. It's really tart. Very juicy tartness. It's making my mouth water actually because I smell it. It smells really good though. But it's a nice kind of, kind of to clean the air and um, great for like a bathroom kind of kitchen type location. Another one that I melted, strawberry margarita. This was really good. You get more, I did anyways, got more of the margarita than the strawberry. Um, but then every now and then I would get hints of her like sweet strawberry and it's definitely her, her regular yummy strawberry. So it's good. But I actually wish the strawberry was a little bit stronger in this one, but it still is really good. And then I did melt some tinsel. Um, nice yummy scent. This is when I can melt you around. I can melt minty scents all year. So I think I melted this, put it in a few warmers or a couple warmers and melted some. So mm, just delicious, delicious, nice and strong. I love her scoopables. And then the last, last thing, some pink peppermint. So you can see this is from December 2014. I think this one is as well. So these are pretty old. They hold up really, really well. They're already over a year old and there has been absolutely no loss in scent. They're really, really strong. They smell perfect. I've melted this, I think, a couple times. Mm, so good. So I'm glad that I still have some of this um, pink peppermint from her. So overall, I think Tiffany Candles um, is a great vendor. Currently, the way she um, you can purchase from her pretty much at any time. She does about two ready-to-ship restocks during the month, and she does also have customs available on her website. Her ready-to-ship restocks, though, she often includes a lot more scents and scents you cannot get on her custom list. So probably more like seasonal and stuff she doesn't plan on carrying full-time. So it's kind of fun to be able to get ready-to-ship items because they're things that you can't, you're not going to be able to get just through regular custom order. Um, and usually for her ready-to-ship, she she's doing now a triple-layer loaf, um, which I have not ordered, but she is offering that for ready-to-ship. She does... I don't know if she's done chocolates recently. Now she does kind of like bags of shapes. So I think she did like mini heart bags um, in the last restock. You can get her fluted tarts, you can get teddy tarts, and she does usually eight ounce and four ounce scoopables. At least the two, the middle and the small one. Um, usually she doesn't have 12 ounce for ready to ship. Um, however, there may be a few that's on her website, but she doesn't do those very often. And then, oh, then she'll do like sliceable shapes which I haven't purchased from her in a while, but I have in the past that are like larger, big tarts that you would cut up, you know, and use, slice a little bit off at a time. So she offers a lot through Ready to Ship, and then for your custom orders, you can do, you can do the triple layer loaf, you can do the blend of bags, you can do, um, tw I think any of, can you do any of the scoopable sizes? I know you can do 12 ounce and eight ounce. I'm trying to think if you can do four ounce and custom, I'm not sure. Um, her custom items are more expensive though than her ready to ship. For example, I think with the three pack fluted tarts, actually I'm on her website. So let me check before I say something that's incorrect. Um, let's see. So I'm going to shop our store and it's just a little slow. Oh, cause I'm on my Wi-Fi. And my Wi-Fi is crappy here. So, okay, so like her, let, eh, I don't see, oh yeah, okay, custom tarts. Like if you do the three pack of fluted tarts, it's $3.75 if you do custom. And then if you do ready to ship, actually it might be the same price. Let me double check. Maybe I lied. If you do ready to ship three packs of her fluted tarts, it is, why is it not going? Oh, 325. So no, I didn't lie. It was a 50 cent difference in her three packs of fluted tarts. If you're doing ready to ship 325, custom 375. Um, and then, and so I think each product basically is that way. So I've tended now to like, um, oh, not really have that desire to place custom orders as much. For example, let me see her, where's her custom blend -a bag? For her blend -a bag, it's $18. 
for basically a pound. Um, but if she, I don't know if she offers blend -a bags though in her ready to ship. I know she offers like smaller bags that are more like 12 ounces. Hmm. So anyhow, well, you can check out her website. She's always open, so that's fantastic. Um, if you do want to place a custom order, you're able to, and you can pretty much do a ton of blending. It is just a little bit more expensive um, for the custom versus the ready to ship. And when she does ready to ship, she usually announces, you know, she puts a post on her Facebook group that says, post below the scents you would like me to stock in the ready to ship. And so people can request scents. And so that's actually really great because that's actually how I got my really crazy blend. I requested it when she did her post. And so um, I don't have to pay the custom order price if I don't want, but if you really, really want something and she hasn't stocked it, then you can do a custom order, you just pay a little bit more. So anyhow, but overall, she's really one of my favorite vendors. I feel like she's one of the easier vendors to buy from. She has a really good scent list. Um, her wax throws well for me. I typically use it in either a 20 watt hot plate or 24 watt hot plate, and it performs really, really well. It's pretty long lasting. Um, you know, so overall, great vendor. Definitely check her out if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.